Most of the novels of Charles Dickens were originally published in monthly parts like this. This is David Copperfield and each month you would get a part of the book like this, a few chapters wrapped up in uh, printed wrappers with illustrations by the same illustrator who did the book and there would be advertising in it, the Copperfield Advertiser. Various advertisers would vie to take advertising space in these books as they were the best sellers of the age. But Dickens wasn't the only novelist who published in this way but he's the most famous and his, it was his success with Pickwick Papers that really led to all his most of his novels being published in this format. The usual format uh, would be that there were 20 parts and the final part you get a double number which this is parts 19 and 20 of David Copperfield and that would allow you that would include with it the printed title page which would allow you to have the book bound up when you'd finished and so it would include the engraved title page and the printed title page and you could then have the book put into a single volume. This is a, a single volume of Pickwick Papers is a little later but it's a full leather binding done in, in typical Victorian style. Um, Dickens experimented with various other formats for Master Humphrey's Clock which is a a larger work and in fact incorporates two novels into the one book. It has uh, Barnaby Rudge and the Old Curiosity Shop. He did them in weekly parts so they're obviously much thinner and these are quite rare, the, the weekly parts, but uh, it wasn't a success and he usually stuck to the monthly formula. At the end when the parts were finished the publisher would issue the book, reissue the book in a, in a cloth binding this is the mystery of Edwin Drood in the publisher's binding. Um, it's noticeably thinner than other Dickens titles because Dickens died before he'd finished the book, but the publishers still felt it was worth publishing the book in original cloth. Uh, Dickens' career started um, with his sketches by Boz. Boz was a nickname that he used and he wrote comic sketches of everyday life. And this is the uh, the first book form edition of his first book. It's in two volumes. And he then went on to write his first huge success, which was Pickwick Papers, published in parts. Again, he's known as Boz on the title pages of that. And by now, people realise that he was going to be one of the best-selling novelists of the age. And in his, th in his novel, Oliver Twist, he decided to come out from behind the shelter of his pseudonym and early printings of Oliver Twist still have his name as Boz on the title page but in later issues he changed that to Charles Dickens and from then on he became known as Charles Dickens and was at that time probably the most famous man in the world, let alone writer. Dickens did several things uh, which were innovative in publishing, perhaps his most memorable is A Christmas Carol which is a story that he published as a Christmas book and he had it done up in this uh, small but uh, still lavishly produced gift format. It has a, a rather pretty cinnamon cloth binding with a gilt wreath on the front and he took great care over it, had the title pages printed up in various colours to see which ones looked best. He decided in the end that red and blue looked best and it has illustrations by John Leach, uh, one of several illustrators who illustrated Dickens' works and copies like this in original cloth and original state um, are sought after by collectors. We also have other books from Dickens associated with Dickens. We have a, a book here which is uh, from his library. It has his uh, book plate in it which is uh, from his house at Gads Hill, the large house he built himself in Kent with the proceeds of his novels. And this is um, a selection called Half Hours with the Best Authors. This is edited by Charles Knight, who's known as a Shakespearean scholar, but he was also a friend of Dickens, and here he's inscribed a book to Charles Dickens Esquire. He was one of the dedicatees of Bleak House and uh, did some acting with Dickens in Dickens' private dramaticals.